Hello everyone. Today in this very video, we are going to start a new chapter that is congruency chapter from your syllabus that is unit 12. Uh, congruency. Congruency is a very simple chapter and it, we often use the uh, concept of congruency in our day-to-day -day life while resembling things, comparing things. Okay. Well, before proceeding to the exercise, let us first have an idea of what does the very term congruency refer to. Okay. See, congruency is the property of okay, figures having same shape and same size. In, in a nutshell, if you want to say, uh, congruency is the property of figures having same shape and same size okay so what you got we have caught that the condition is what same shape and same size these are the two condition to be congruent of any two figure or shape two different figures shapes or objects are said to be congruent if they have the same shape and same size it's a very simple thing okay say for example uh two textbook two maths textbook of your uh two maths textbook of your class seven maths textbook two textbooks are congruent to each other why they are congruent to each other because they have got the same shape and they have got the same size okay if we keep one book over another they will coincide they will uh no spam pause okay one another they will coincide one another so they are called congruent okay so see congruence in case of line segment two line segments are said to be congruent if they are of same size okay two line segment say this is a line segment okay line segment two cm and this is a line segment whether they are vertically or horizontally that's not a matter at all but if they have got the same length that is 2 cm 2 cm so this line segment a b okay line segment i b and line segment c d are said to be congruence okay we can write a b congruent okay to c d congruence to c d okay and in order to mean congruency okay to mean congruency we use that super equal sign equal sign and above equal sign you put a curvy line okay a curvy line okay this curvy line and equal sign above the equal sign a curvy line means uh congruency okay now if you write a b super equal sign c d then it will mean then a b congruence to c d okay uh, say two circle in case of two circle okay if two circle have the same uh, same ready if they are ready are equal okay the length of the ready okay of two different circles are equal then they are said to be congruence in case of circle okay in case of angle if two angles are of same degree two 90 degree angles are congruence 250 degree angles are congruence okay so today in this very chapter we are going to learn we are going to explore about congruency of triangle okay let us first see exercise 12 let us start with exercise 12. 12. you have got first fill in the blanks first one complete the following segments first sub question a you got two figures are said to be congruent okay question number one sub question a question i'm not going to write the question here two figures are said to be congruent okay if you can write they have same size they have okay same shape and size shape and size this can be answered or we can write or we can write if they if they spawn pause 
okay if the point post each other each other when place it one of another okay we well, can write what anyone answer you can write question for question number one sub question a two figures are said to be congruent if they have same shape and same size okay and uh, two figures are congruent said to be congruent if they superimpose each other superimposing c if your one textbook if you keep one textbook above another textbook suppose our palm okay the right palm and left palm okay if you join they superimpose each other okay they completely coincide each other so our two palms are congruent okay one palm is congruent to another palm because if you join them if you put one another what they'll do they'll coincide each other they'll superimpose each other so they are called uh, two palms are congruent okay congruent or you can say one palm is congruent to other palm okay okay now see among two congruent angles one has the measure 110 degree the measure of the corresponding angle is also 110 degree okay b is if one is 110 degree another also will be 110 degree because we know their say size must be equal to be congruent that is the condition question number two if D E F congruence to triangle B C A, write the part of B C A that corresponds to. Okay, angle F corresponding to question number two. Okay, question number two. Suppose this is a triangle. Okay, this is a triangle. D E F. Okay, no need to draw like this. Just just to make you understand. I'm drawing it. And this is another one triangle we got. Say this is B C A. Okay, B C A. So this is congruent to this one. This one congruent. This one equal to this one. Okay, this one equal to this one. Okay, this angle is this angle. Okay, getting this angle is this angle, and this angle equal to this angle. Okay, now in this case, first question you got if triangle DEF congruent to triangle BCA, write the part of BCA that corresponds to. Okay, so angle F, okay, angle F corresponds to, okay, angle F corresponds to angle A. Or the right angle A. Okay. okay then question number b okay sub question b you got d e okay d e this is d e correspondence to b c d e corresponding to b c okay number c given c angle d so angle d this is corresponding to angle b okay now question number D, okay, question number D, sub question D, E F, okay, E F, E F corresponds to C A, okay. Now question number three, two quadrilaterals A B C D and P Q R S are congruent. Write the congruent pairs of quadrilateral PQRS corresponding to the following pairs of quadrilateral ABCD. Okay, see so two quadrilaterals. So this is a quadrilateral, a triangle, a rectangle is a quadrilateral, a square is a quadrilateral, a rhombus is a quadrilateral. Quadrilateral means four sided figure. Okay, so two quadrilateral given C. First one given A, B, C. 
D. Okay. Another one given P K Q R S P Q R S. Okay. Now our question uh, corresponding um, write the congruent pairs of quadrilateral PQRs corresponding to the following pairs of quadrilateral A B C D. First question. Okay. First question you got A. A we got B C. Okay. B C that means this is our B C B C congruence to Q R. So all right. Q R. Okay. Now sub question B. Sub question B it is given here A D. Okay. A D. So A D congruence to P S. Okay. A D and P S. So all right. P S. Okay. Then sub question C. Sub question C we got angle C. Okay. Angle C. So this is our angle C corresponding to angle R. Okay. Angle C corresponding to angle R. All right. Okay. Now question number D. Sub question D. We got angle D. Okay. Angle D. This is angle D corresponding to angle S. Correspondence to angle S. Okay. Then next question number E. We got uh, AC. Okay. AC. So AC. Okay. This is our AC. SPR. AC. PR. Okay. Then number F. What do you got? BD. Okay. BD. So all right. BD corresponds to QS. QS. Okay. Question number four. Identify the pairs of congruent figures from the following. You refer your textbook. Okay. Identify the pairs of congruent figures from the following. So PQ congruence to AB because both, both their length is 4 cm. Okay. But C is not congruent. Okay. That is question number A. And question number B, you have got three triangle. Okay. That means triangle, two triangles are 60 degree, 60 degree, and one is 61 degree. So two 60 degree triangles are congruent. P, Q, R, and X, Y, chat. Okay. Angle P, Q, R, we have see question number four, sub question B, you have got three angles. Question number four, sub question B, we have we refer to you refer to your textbook. I'm not going to draw all these things. So question number four, okay. Okay. Question number four. Identify the pairs of congruence figures from the following. So sub question A. Sub question A. PQ. Okay. PQ and A B. PQ and AB. CD is not congruent because CD is 5 cm. Rest 2 is a rest 2. So, so what called uh, line segments are 4 cm, but CD is 5 cm, so it is not congruent. Okay. Sub question B will get angle PQR is 60 degree and angle XYZ also 60 degree. Okay. Angle PQR and angle XY chat okay number c okay uh, ad 190 110 90 110 90 okay number c quadrilateral a d sorry a D C B congruence to okay congruence to quadrilateral P S R Q okay 
Now let us proceed to next chapter that is exercise 12 point exercise 12 point 2 okay. Congruency criteria of triangles. Okay. So before proceeding to exercise, let us first get an idea. So we are going to learn here in this very 12.2 in this very chapter, congruency criterion of, okay, congruency criteria, that means rules of uh, congruency for triangle, rules of congruency for triangle. When and how two triangles can be congruent or when and how two triangles are said to be Okay, S S S criterion. Okay, what you got? S S S S S S rules. Okay, S S S rule. That means S S S means side side side. Okay, if corresponding sides of a triangle are if the corresponding sides of a triangle are equal to corresponding sides of another one triangle then side, two side, triangles side are said to be that means congruent. two triangles are said to be congruent two okay triangles two triangles are said to be said to be congruent two triangles are said to be congruent okay, if all the three sides all the three sides of a triangle okay all the three sides of a triangle are equal to the three sides of another triangle to the three sides of the other triangles are getting me so that is what called SSS rule okay or we can say SSS criteria what is SSS criteria two triangles are said to be equal if all the three sides of a triangle are equal to okay three sides of another one triangle okay if two different triangles okay have uh, sides of same size then they are said to be congruent as very simple there is no rocket science is it say for example if i make a triangle here okay say a p and c is a triangle Again, if you make another one triangle here, okay, say okay, X, Y, Chat, okay, 
Now if side AB equals side XY, side BC equals side Y chat, okay, and side AC, okay, side AC equals side X chat, then this three triangles will set to be or if you see side AB equals side Exit. Then this three triangle, these two triangles are will say to be our triangles are said to be congruent to each other. Okay, what are the condition if okay or you can write since since okay a b equal x y okay then bc equal y chat and ac equal x chat okay therefore abc congruence to xy chat therefore a b c congruence this is the congruency sign okay, equal sign above after equal sign we'll put one curvy line that is called super equal abc congruence to x y chat okay so what is the condition to be congruent to be congruent if abc and xyz are congruent then what the condition be fulfilled first condition a side ab equal side xy side bc equals side yz side ac equals side x chat okay corresponding sides will be equal and then it is called this criteria or this rule of congruence is called SSS rule or we say side side okay, side criteria or side, side 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 rule. Side angle side rule. Okay. Side angle side criteria. Okay. Or you can say side angle side side angle side roll okay side angle side roll okay if two side and their included angle okay two side and the including angle of a triangle are equal to two side and including including triangle uh, angle of another one triangle then they will they, these two angles uh, triangles are said to be congruent okay say for example if two if any two side if any two So congruency side congruency card uh, criteria of triangles so number what we have learned already of criteria one that is rule one that is side 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 now see let side second rule that is side angle side rule what side angle side rule that means if two sides okay two sides and their including angles including and of a triangle okay including angle of a triangle are equal to the two sides two sides and their included angle included 
angle of another one triangle okay of another one triangle then they are said to be they are said to be congruent okay that is what called SAS criteria what is the criteria if two sides and their included angle of a triangle are equal to okay equal to the two sides and their included angle of an adderon triangle then in that case both the triangles are said to be congruent to each other say for example for example okay we got a triangle here okay okay a b c okay and you got another one triangle here P K Q R two triangle you got A B C and P Q R. Okay. Now see if this two sides, okay, this side equal this side and this side equal this side and this angle angle equal this angle that means if side ac equals side pr if side ab equals side pq and angle a equal angle p then in that case these two triangles okay are said to be congruent to each other that is the side angle side side angle side Okay, so here what you got? Uh, AC equal PR. Okay, AC equal PR. Angle A equal angle P. Angle A equal angle P. And AB equal PQ. Okay. If these three conditions are fulfilled, if angle AC equal angle, sorry, if side AC equal side PR, angle A equal angle P, and side AB equal PQ, if these three conditions are fulfilled, then we can say these two triangles are congruent to each other by SAS rule or by SAS congruency criteria. Okay, are you getting me? two triangles okay two triangles are said to be said to be congruent two triangles are said to be congruent okay if two angles and their included side of a triangle if two angles and their included side included side okay of a triangle of a triangle are equal to the two angles and their 
encoded side of the other okay so are they good that is roll number three that is angle side angle roll a s a we say in short in brief we say a s a that means angle side angle roll okay what's the rule two triangles are said to be congruent if two angles and their included side of a triangle are equal to the two angles and their included side of the other okay say for example for example okay say this is a triangle okay triangle now see this side equal this side this angle equal this angle this angle equal this angle okay if I see it uh, A B C and if I say this angle okay P Q R okay that means here to be congruent as per the angle side angle rule okay to be congruent as by the as per the angle side angle rule what are the conditions should be fulfilled say angle A equal angle P okay if angle A if angle A equal angle P side AB Okay, side AB equals side PQ and angle B equal angle Q. Okay, if this three rules uh, conditions are fulfilled, okay, then we can say triangle ABC congruous to triangle PQR. Okay, by angle side angle criteria of congruency triangle okay so by angle side angle so four rules that is rhs congruency rule okay r h s congruency congruency rules rule okay r h s that means right hypotenuse side right hypotenuse side congruency rule that means Two right angles are said to be okay. Two right angle means 90 degree angle, is it? Two right angles are said to be said to be congruent. Said to be congruent if the hypotenuse if the hypotenuse and one side one side of a triangle of a triangle or uh, equal to the hypotenuse and one side of the other of the other triangle okay now what you got right hypotenuse side congruency rule so what is the rule 
Two right triangles are said to be congruent if the hypotenuse and one side of a triangle are equal to the hypotenuse and one side of the other triangle. Okay. Say for example, for example, so this is a right angle triangle. Okay, this is a right angle triangle. Say A B C is a right angle triangle. And we got another one right angle triangle here. Okay. Okay. x y chat okay now this angle b is right angle and this angle y is right angle this is the sign of right angle angle b is right angle angle y is right angle now hypotenuse okay the sides lies opposite to the right angle is called hypotenuse of a right angle triangle okay this angle B is right angle opposite to angle B what is there AC this AC is called hypotenuse and here in the, in the second triangle XY chat in triangle XY chat angle Y is right angle opposite to angle Y what is there AX chat and this AX chat is called hypotenuse okay if both the hypotenuse are equal say if this 5 cm okay if this is 5 cm and this also 5 cm Okay, and any one side, say this side, if this side is 2 cm and this side is also 2 cm, okay, then in that case, we can say these two triangles are, okay, triangle ABC and triangle XYZ are congruent to each other by right hypotenuse side congruency rule, okay, by RHSY, because this AC is hypotenuse and XZ is hypotenuse both are same in size okay a length, same in length AC is also 5 cm XZ is also 5 cm that means the air hypotenuse are equal in length then this is angle B is right angle here angle Y also right angle and BC equal 2 cm YZ is also 2 cm okay since hypotenuse equal hypotenuse BC equal YZ and right angle right angle so you can see these two triangles are congruent to each other by right hypotenuse congruency rule okay also don't oh, know refer to your textbook to take out your textbook and refer to your textbook that is exercise 12.2 question number one check which of the following pairs of triangles are congruent check which of the following pairs of triangles are congruent okay the markings indicate equal pairs of the triangles name the congruence rule used and write the names of the congruent triangles okay write the names of the congruence triangles so first question number one see sub question a we have got two triangles you refer to the textbook or you can look at the screen okay first we got a b c and p q r a b c and p q r two triangle we have got here the first triangle C ABC side AB equal side PQ angle A equal angle P okay and side BC equal side QR we have got two equals side AB equal side PQ given all right side BC equal side QR given all right and side A equal side P given uh, it's angle A equal angle P given but so A is not a check which of the following pairs of triangle are congruent so sub question A is the pairs of triangles are not congruent. Okay. Sub question A not congruent. Okay, or you can say sub question A not congruent. Okay. Why not congruency? To be congruent, what do you need? Two sides and including angle. Here also in our question C, your question is like this, sub question A, you got here A, B, C, again you got here uh, P, Q, R, angle A equal angle P given, alright, 
side AB equals side PQ given. All right. Side BC equals side Q are given. Okay. Now what we got? Angle side side. We don't have any criteria like this. Our criteria is either angle side angle or side angle side. But what we are getting here? Angle side then side. Angle side then side. We don't have any criteria like this. So sub question A is not congruent. Okay. Sub question B is congruent. Okay. Sub question B is congruent. We can say A O B. Okay. Triangle A O B congruent to triangle D O C. Triangle D O C. Question is what? Check which of the following pairs of triangles are congruent. The make marking indicates equal part of the triangles. Name the congruence rule used and write the names of the congruent triangles. The congruent triangles name we have written A O B and triangle D O C by S A S congruence triangle congruency rule. S A S congruency rule. Okay, see how. Our question was like this. Okay, now see, we got here A, we have got here B, we have got here O, we have got here D, we have got here E. Sorry, C. Okay, now what given? A B equal given A O equal given O C okay A O equal given C O again D O equal given B O and we know A O B equal D O C because they are vertically opposite angle okay A O D though not mentioned we know A O B equal D O C angle AOB equal angle DOC because they are vertically opposite angles and vertically opposite angles are always equal in measure is it so side angle side again here also side angle side so by SAS rule by SAS rule or by SAS criteria okay So you proceed on like this, okay. If I do all, you will not learn anything. Okay, you see by what role they are congruency. So how to write the answer? I'm showing you question asking. In the question, it is asked, check which of the following pairs of triangles are congruent. Sub question A we got not congruent. Sub question B we got congruent. Okay, and uh, question given name the congruence rule used and write the names of the congruent triangles. So congruent triangles are what? AOB and DOC. AOB is a triangle, DOC is a triangle. These two triangles are congruent to each other and by SAS rule. Okay, like this, you proceed on the next question. Okay, rest of the question. Let us proceed to question number two. Now, let us proceed to question number two that is given. If PQRS is a parallelogram, prove triangle PQS. Okay congruence to triangle RSQ okay triangle PQS that is triangle PQS okay triangle PQS that is triangle PQS okay you have to prove that this congruence to RSQ okay this part is called RSQ all right Now, see since PQS, PQRS is a parallelogram, we know in a parallelogram opposite sides are equal and parallel. Okay, that means PS equal to QR. PS equal QR because opposite sides of a parallelogram. Alright, and this PQ equal to rs 
opposite sides of a parallelogram and this asq is a common side when you say psq or pqs when you say pqs you have got qs and when you say rsq then also you have got qs okay separately if you see if we say p q okay when you say p q s you have got q s and when you say r q s here also you have got q s the q s equal q s okay q s equal q s p q and r s r okay p q and s r they are opposite sides of a parallelogram so they are equal and p s and q r opposite sides of a parallelogram so they are equal okay so it's very easy to prove see we have to say to prove to prove what to prove triangle p q s congruence to triangle r s q okay okay now proof okay now see what we'll do p s okay p s equal to p s equal to q r okay in triangles okay in triangles p q s and r s q in triangles p q s and r s q okay now see what we'll get p s equal to okay q r p s equal to q r why reason is what opposite side of parallelogram okay parallelogram all right now PS opposite QR then PQ opposite SR na. so you can write PQ equal SR what is the reason do same reason okay do opposite sides of the parallelogram okay now SQ is common side common sides or you can say sq equal sq sq equal sq why common common sides okay so what you got this one side two side three side this three side of side ps side pq and side sq of triangle pqs are equal to side qr side sr and side sq of triangle rsq so therefore okay triangle therefore by s s s congruency rule okay congruency by S S S congruency rule triangle P Q S congruence to okay triangle R S Q okay this is the solution of question number two a very simple question if PQRS is a parallelogram, prove triangle PQS 
parallel to triangle as sorry prove triangle PQRs as congruence to triangle RSQ so very simple to prove triangle PQS congruence to triangle RSQ so proof so we have taken both the triangle in triangle PQS and RSQ okay PQS and RSQ so PS equal QR this is PS and this QR both these sides are equal why because they are opposite sides of parallelogram and we know we know that opposite sides of a parallelogram are less parallel to each other as well as equal to each other similarly PQ is equal to SR same reason the opposite sides of parallelogram and this QS is a common side okay when you say angle triangle PQS you are getting SQ when you say RQS then also you are getting SQ so SQ equal SQ so since three sides are equal PS equal QR PQ equal SR and SQ equal SQ that is why both the triangles are look at the board congruence to each other look at the board question number three in the given figure see right at the right you've got a figure in the given figure OA okay OA perpendicular this sign is called perpendicular perpendicular QR okay that means this OA perpendicular QR and what given OB perpendicular QB this is OB perpendicular to QP okay now and OA equal OB this is OA and OB these two sides are given equal okay is triangle OAQ that is triangle OAQ OAQ okay congruent to triangle OBQ that is triangle OBQ are the congruent to each other okay that is the question okay and given if so give reasons okay now let us see whether they are con uh, congruent or not okay now see this is since OA perpendicular AQ that means here already sign also given this is angle A equal right angle okay see angle A equal angle B equal 90 degree okay since OA perpendicular QR that means angle A is 90 degree since OQ perpendicular okay O since OB perpendicular QP that means o angle B also right angle okay okay now then what you go since it's the right angle opposite to right angle to see OQ is the hypotenuse OQ is the hypotenuse okay OQ okay equal OQ in both the triangle you get OQ equal OQ okay this OQ is the hypotenuse uh, hypotenuse hypotenuse okay okay AB side AB equals side sorry side OA equals side OB now see this OA equal OB this side equal this side this is right angle this is right angle okay this OAQ okay or you say angle Q or OAQ is right angle okay angle B or angle OBQ is right angle okay and this is the hypotenuse OQ is the hypotenuse when you say OAQ we are getting the OQ when you say OBQ the demos are getting the OQ okay and line side lies opposite to the right angle is called hypotenuse so by RHQ right hypotenuse side okay right hypotenuse side okay if we separate you see if we separate them like this okay what we'll get here I will get O A Q okay and what we'll get here I will get uh, Q B okay O getting now see here this is right angle okay this one right angle this one also right angle okay this side OE equal okay ah oh, why I'm writing should be right here now O this OA equal OB 
and this is the hypotenuse aq is the hypotenuse here oq is the hypotenuse okay sorry we'll get like this we'll get like this okay get like this okay ah this is a o q okay then we'll get like this okay this is uh o A Q and this is O B Q. Okay, L key. Okay, now see O A Q and O B Q. Okay, and this these two triangle. This A is right angle. Here B is also right angle. Okay, O A equal O B okay and this oq is the hypotenuse and this oq is the hypotenuse so hypotenuse equal hypotenuse this side equal this side and this is right angle we have learned already the criteria number four if in if in two right angles okay if the hypotenuse and any one side of the one angles one triangle okay one triangle is equal to the hypotenuse if uh, the hypotenuse and any one side of a right triangle is equal to the hypotenuse or hypotenuse and any one side of the another one right triangle then both the right triangles are called uh, both the right triangles are said to be congruent to each other by rhs criteria right hypotenuse side criteria so what will write here answer will be yes this you no need to do just to make you understand i have done answer will be yes and we'll write here by right hypotenuse side okay yes by right hypotenuse side the board Rule. question number that four okay answer. question Push number four in the following figures congruent pairs of the triangles are marked check if uh, sub question a triangle x y z congruence to triangle x t z and triangle x y t congruence to triangle x z t triangle x z t that is sub question b okay and this is drawing for sub question b okay see so what is marked here see y x z this angle x okay is equal to angle z x t or you can say t x z okay angle y x z is equal to angle t x z how do you know how do you know because it is marked here see okay that means this angle equal this angle all right again y z x and t z x these two angles are equal because it is marked here c okay okay if only two angles are equal in two triangle you cannot say that they are congruent okay but here you see let us explore more what you get here see when you say triangle y x z okay triangle y x z okay this okay y x z and here let us take out triangle x z t okay now this equal this given in the question and this equal this given in the question okay this angle angle x equal angle x this angle z equal angle angle z equal angle 
that it is mentioned in the question because this mark is there. See, okay. Now, see, x chat is a common side. You see, when you say triangle, triangle y x chat, we are getting x chat, and when I say triangle t x chat, then also we are getting x chat. Okay, in triangle y x chat, we have got side x chat. And in triangle T X Z also we have got the same side, okay? X Z. That means X Z is a common side, okay? That means X Z equal this also equal this. Now see, angle side angle again angle side angle. So by angle side angle A S A criteria of congruency, these two triangles are congruent. So you can write our question. Uh, figures congruent parts of the triangles are mark check if these triangles so answer number one sub question a answer will be what will be the answer yes yes by angle side angle roll by angle side angle roll okay rule is not mentioned here in your question to write still then i'm writing here if you don't write also no problem only yes writing will be done okay okay now next is what triangle x y t triangle x z t okay this figure number two x y t x z t okay this angle equal this angle given and this angle since angle x t y is right right angle so this up other side also angle x t z also will be right angle because you know a straight angle is 180 degree if this part is 90 this part also will be 90 okay if angle x t y is 90 then angle x t z also will be 90 okay because they are forming linear pair and in a linear pair you know the, both the triangle angles are always equal okay so this angle equal this angle this angle equal this angle and this side side xt is a common side for both the triangle when you say triangle xty we are getting xt when it's a triangle xt chat they are also getting xt xt is a common side so you can see angle side angle by angle side angle criteria okay triangle xt chat and triangle xty okay are congruent to each other okay or if these two triangles are equal then this third angle if angle x equal angle x if angle t equal angle t okay then this angle y equal angle just surely okay because you know sum of three angle is 180 degree if this equal this this equal this then this equal also this okay then we can write yes okay b also answer is what yes they are congruent to each other why congruent because see angle side angle angle side angle criteria or you can see angle 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 criteria okay this angle equal this angle okay this angle equal this angle given in the equation this angle equal this angle given in the equation if these two angles are equal then third angle also will be equal so we can see by angle 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 criteria also they are correspond uh, congruent to each other okay all to the next you proceed okay try yourself practice yourself if i give everything to you that's it will be spawn feeding you will not learn anything until and unless you don't practice yourself okay how much someone teach you how much someone tell you how to swim until and unless you don't drive dive in the water and don't try yourself you don't learn how to swim okay Okay, with this very question, I'm going to wind up this very chapter at this very video. Okay.